We all absolutely love porridge, but the Good Chef Bad Chef Kitchen is all about experimenting. So today I'm going to do a baked oatmeal. If you thought porridge filled you up, you have to try this. Now, of course, we start off with our basis of oats. I think oats should be in absolutely everyone's diet. It's a great, great form of fiber uh, to make sure that we have nice gut health. So the tip is you want to go for the most premium, high quality oats. And my mates at Gloriously Free go to every single length to make sure that they are uncontaminated. So in we go with two cups of these lovely oats. There we go, you can be nice and generous with these. Now, of course, this is gonna feed a bit more than one person. You can feed a whole family with these. Now, it has some powdered ginger, really nice in there. Sometimes the powder's lovely because it's very potent. And I've got some cinnamon, about one teaspoon, again, of that one. I don't think you can have porridge without cinnamon. And I have a little bit of nutmeg, another beautiful quality in there. Some flax seeds, so we've got the fiber in there. We want to have some omega-3, 2. In we go, so we get a nice, clever brain for the rest of the day. So we'll just mix that one together. Now, I like a bit of crunch, adding as well to the good fat. So I'm gonna add some walnuts. They look like brains, which tells us they are very good for the brain. So in we go with some walnuts. Now, like with all baking, you want to get all the dry ingredients together first. Just makes it the most simple thing to do. A little pinch of salt, I think, makes all the difference when working with oats. And now it's time for all the wet. So I've got two eggs. That's just going to be the emulsifier bringing everything together here. Doesn't matter about the whites and the yolks. We want all of that in. I've got some vanilla essence, about one teaspoon in there. And I've got a little bit of almond essence. Now, I don't want you to use too much. It's extremely strong, but it does make the, all the difference in taste. So about two drops just there. I have some oat milk, about half a cup to one cup of oat milk. And I'm going to add apple. I think apple and oats are an absolute pair made in the heaven. They're like me and my best mate. So I've got some apple here. This is just some stewed apple that I've made earlier. You want to try to not grab it from the tin. It's really easy to just do with a bit of water, apple and cinnamon over the stove. Some lovely maple flavoured syrup. So I've got here Lakanto, which is just fabulous because it's made from monk fruit. It's a monk fruit sweetener. It's an extremely sweet fruit that doesn't raise your blood sugar the way that normal white caster sugar would. Now I'm just going to mix all of this together, making sure that we get that egg all nicely beaten. Now, I am all about texture, so I'm going to add another element of texture here, but you can actually go seasonal, you can choose pear, you can choose all sorts of different things, but I'm going to choose some apple in there, just to go with the stewed apple as well, and that's just going to mean that we get a nice little bite, and this turns into an absolute breakfast meal, which is brilliant if we have a hard day at school to come or a hard day at work. So that's all nicely mixed in. So I have a coconut oil baking tray here. I've put a bit of baking paper in there just to make sure that we can lift it out because this one will cook for quite a while. So in we go here. Now I've got the oven on 180 and we're gonna bake it for about 30 to 40 minutes. But you just wanna keep your eye on it and make sure it goes nice and golden on the top and then that one will be ready. So we'll just smooth it out. Oh, it's delicious. My stomach's rumbling already. There we go. So into the oven with this one, and then we'll come back and check on it. That smells, I mean, it smells like pure winter, but this can be enjoyed in summer too. We'll just lift that one out. I mean, it's basically like a big cake. You could have these as just energy bars, but I think it's delicious as a lovely breakfast treat. So we'll put that on there. Now, you don't need too much. It's got lots and lots of oats in it. Now, you probably thought I was going to have this as a bit of a breakfast, but I'm actually going to turn this into a bit of a dessert. So I've got my nice warmed scoop there. Bit of lovely fig and ricotta ice cream. I used to be an ice cream girl in Cornwall. Can you believe that? There we go. A little scoop there. Now it's time to have a bit of a taste. I want one of those big chunks of apple. The spices are just delicious. But it's the oats. You know that if you eat that, you're going to be full for a while. So whether you have it at breakfast, lunch, or dinner, 
and it's absolutely delicious. And you can even give it to friends as a little present. An absolute win for me there.